much, Dan. Yeah, we check in on Group D. England pulling off a 1-0 uh, victory over Denmark this morning. China 1-0 winners over Haiti. So that leaves the three lionesses right now sitting atop the group. For more on this, let's welcome into the show Alexis Nunes, who joins us live from New Zealand. Let's start with England. Alexis, Serena Vigman finally made some changes, and they seem to pay off. Yes, Hemi, these are the changes that we did want to see, specifically Lauren James. She's coming off a brilliant season with Chelsea. She has just been firing on all cylinders, and she's such an aggressive, physical type of player that I absolutely knew was necessary to break down that Danish defense. Um, Denmark, going forward, if they're not getting it to Pernil Harder, they really did struggle, and that's what we expected. We knew that England had enough firepower to break them down. But Lauren James, with a stunner of a goal, as she's used to doing as well in the WSL. I mean, you just need to ask her brother, Reese James, who says she's technically, in his opinion, better than some Premier League players that she plays with. But Lauren James was the number one name that I wanted to see start. Serena Vigman, I'm not one to tell her how to do her job, but she put her on, and you can see the difference she made. All right, Alexis, so that's the good news for England. There's bad news as well. Kira Walsh, key midfielder, stretchered off in the first half. What's the latest, and how big a threat could this injury be to England's World Cup title hopes? Oh, this is a massive, massive threat to England's title hopes because of the fact that they are already suffering a number of injuries to Beth Mead, their prolific goal scorer, their captain, Leah Williamson, Frank Kirby as well. She's not here. And I was looking at that bench and I was saying it doesn't look as prolific as we saw in the Euros because they are without so many big names. But Kira Walsh is someone you want on every team. I remember a couple of years ago, they had that quote that says, if you're watching the game, you don't necessarily notice Kira Walsh. But if you watch Kira Walsh, you see the game. She is that Sergio Busquets type of player. Everything really starts with her. And once I saw her go down and she said, mm -mm, and looked at Serena Vigman, you knew it was definitely not um, uh, going to make for pretty viewing. Serena Vigman said it herself. Anytime a player can't walk off the pitch, it's never um, a good thing. And I think that England definitely are going to miss her. We're still waiting to see exactly how bad this potential knee injury is. We're hoping that it's not an ACL because it's exactly what has kind of haunted a number of big name players going into this World Cup. But Kira Walsh is someone that you would never want off of your starting 11. She's someone that, like I said, the game starts with her and she's so crucial to how England want to play at this World Cup. So massive, massive miss. Alexis, that's a story with England in Group D. Meanwhile, in Group B, one of the amazing stories of the tournament, Nigeria pulling a huge upset on Thursday over Australia, three to two. It leaves Nigeria first in the group and it's left their fans very, very happy. Let's listen in. Okay, Alexis, Nigeria, top of the group with one game to go. What a story, what a Cinderella tale this is turning into. Absolute Cinderella tale, Sebi. You have to love the Niger vibes here um, that's going on down under. And I remember watching that game. Uh, I was watching the first half, and I left it because we had to record a Sports Center hit. And I said, oh, when I come back, I'm pretty sure the Matildas are going to be a few up. And when I got back down and I saw it was actually Nigeria leading, I just couldn't peel myself away from the TV. This is the kind of story that we love. We have seen it with the likes of the Philippines, maybe even my girls from Jamaica as well, mm -hmm. even though it wasn't a win over France. It felt like one. But I go back to the quote that Ali said at the beginning of this tournament, the only way we're going to measure the fact that the gap has been closing is by looking at results like these. And Nigeria coming up trumps against Australia in front of their home crowd and a, a, a actually convincing win as well. This is just brilliant for Nigeria, brilliant for women's football on a whole. There she is, Alexis Nunes, joining us live from New Zealand. As always, Alexis, great to have you with us here on ESPN FC.
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.